around here. Our friends grew up here as well. And it was time to reinvigorate uh, this great part of our county and of our state. So it was our plan uh, to develop uh, 341 uh, rental apartment units, as well as retail space to connect with the office that would remain and hopefully additional commercial development to drive visitors, to drive patrons, to drive new residents uh, to this part of Brainy 100. And today we mark a milestone in the completion of 166 units. And as you see in the front facing Silverside Road, two extraordinary restaurants uh, by the Platinum Hospitality Group, uh, Taverna and uh, El Camino. So we're pleased that you've joined us here today to celebrate a commemoration of phase one with a promise of more to come. To offer her welcome on behalf of her boss, the County Executive Matt Meyer, who's traveling today, please welcome Tamara Morris, who's the Director of Economic Development for Newcastle County. Thank you, Mike. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Oh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Is this on? Okay. So yes, on behalf of the Newcastle County Executive, Matt Meyer, uh, congratulations. This is uh, amazing. This is exactly what we need to be competitive um, in this market. This project aligns with the work of the Newcastle County Office of Economic Development to support smart growth and redevelopment projects that not only create jobs, but allow us to compete with surrounding counties for top talent and companies looking for an East Coast home. This project created jobs and a live, work, play destination. It is also an example of the innovative leadership of the Buccini Polling Group to continue to push this county into the 21st century by creating projects that are in demand by this changing economy. This is a big deal. Creating jobs is a big deal. The Newcastle County Jobs Now initiative created a predictable, expedited planning and permitting process Job creating projects like this one benefit from open collaboration with state agencies and coordination to adhere to benchmarks. Many of you, several of you here today were involved and supported the groundbreaking landmark passage of legislation 19-005, the first innovative initiative in over 30 years that created a legal framework to address the inequities within level of service. Traffic improvement districts and complete community enterprise districts are now available to assist with effectively and fairly addressing traffic. So thank you for your support. In this, it is the mission of my office to ensure that every tool we have is designed to strengthen communities, foster job creation through smart and current land use policies, and support small business expansion and entrepreneurship. Today, there are over 9,700 new jobs in the Newcastle County job pipeline. Thank you, BPG, for contributing to that number. Again, on behalf of Newcastle County and the Meyer administration, congratulations on an amazing project. Thank you. Thank you, Tamara. Please uh, extend our gratitude to County Executive Meyer. Uh, we missed him today. Now to offer her welcome as well as uh, remarks is uh, a newly minted uh, county, council person, county council person for Newcastle County's second district. Please welcome Councilwoman Dee Durham. Thank you so much, Mike, and thank you for the invitation to join you here today. I'm excited to be a part of the ribbon cutting and the celebration here today. We've had the pleasure of dining at El Camino and look forward to uh, trying out the, the next rest, new restaurant as well. Um, and thank you to the leadership of Buccini Pollen for their vision. Uh, I'm one of the ones that Mike mentioned who grew up right around the corner. I was born here basically and have, have watched many changes as Concord Pike has developed over the years. But I have to say this is really you know a, a huge leap forward in changes to the Conquer Pike in a, in a very positive way and hopefully um, sets the tone for more redevelopment projects to come down down the pike literally um, the you know I'm, to steal my predecessors constant refrain of a community that's walkable livable bikeable where you work and play I mean that's what this embodies we're very excited about it and hopefully it's just the first of many um, 
I have a vision that I've been trying to promote of a, of a bike head path that will go from basically from here up to Naaman's Road behind the Concord Mall, behind what is now Widener Law School. There'll be a tunnel, which Bob has also um, been a promoter of, hopefully, if we can get there, a tunnel that would allow people to get across Concord Pike to the National Park and they could come have lunch here, enjoy, you know, walking, biking, actually access over to the National Park. So what an amazing place to be able to live with, with access to that type of amenity. So I'm excited to be a part of uh, this celebration here today. And uh, thank you, Buccini Pollen, for your vision of, um, of uh, setting the tone for what's to come on Concord Pike. Thank you, Dee, very much. Uh, Dee re uh, referenced her predecessor, and uh, I would like to acknowledge uh, council member, former, now found former council member, but always council member, uh, Bob Weiner, for his support and leadership on this project, as well as his many years of service to Newcastle County 2nd District. So, Councilman, thank you for being here. I really appreciate it. Thank you all. I, I want to thank uh, my uh, successor, D. Durham, for uh, helping me to understand that there's life after uh, <laughs> political office. And uh, I'm pleased to share the vision together with her that we want to foster a walkable, bikeable, mixed use village where people have the option not to have to take a car, but to be able to walk or bike to where they live, shop, work and play and not be a hostage to an automobile. This project by Buccini Poland is the first on the block, the first in the village. So it's beginning the creation of critical mass in the village of Tallyville. The village of Tallyville is just a village that never got incorporated, but now makes a whole lot of sense as the epicenter for Brandy 100 for east, west, north and south with a walkable pathway that follows the uh, east edge of commercial from the city of Wilmington up into Pennsylvania, we begin to create the framework with pedestrian interconnections under or over Concord Pike at different places so that we create this matrix, this network, because this generation doesn't necessarily want to own. Certainly, there's a lot of empty nester baby boomers as well that don't necessarily want to own, but they want to be able to be close to where the action is. Thank you, Buccini Poland, for having the vision, to having the, the willingness to stick it out and to invest it in the, the money that we need that now creates the, the, uh, the chain reaction that you will begin to see over the decade to come. Uh, thank you, Dee, for carrying the mantle. Uh, and thank you, Buccini Poland, for all your leadership and for all the recovering uh, county and city council persons here. I'm glad to join your ranks. Thank you. On behalf of the other recovering council members here, thank you. Uh, I do also, I just want to say one thing about Bob. When uh, the team from uh, Barton Partners, uh, we went in to present initially to the county to get some reaction uh, to the this, this plan. And uh, Bob almost could not contain his enthusiasm in that this is the kind of development uh, this urban suburban development that he's been uh, championing for years. So we appreciate your support, Councilman. Uh, at this time, speaking of the vision uh, for behind this project and the person tasked within our company of finding a way to uh, improve uh, not only the aesthetic, uh, but the, the sense of community here in the former Concord Plaza, now the Concord, uh, one of our co-presidents, a leader and a dear friend, Chris Pucci. You know, when I, when I sit at these ribbon cuttings, I often just stop and think, how did we get here? What, what brought us to this day? And it truly is a collection of incredibly talented uh, individuals from the Buccini Poland Group that get us here today. So I always, I know my brother Rob, who's here, and I, we always feel a little embarrassed to be standing because we're really standing on, on, in front of uh, literally probably 100 people within our organization 
who worked really hard and gave a lot to get us here today. So um, if we could all just stop and thank uh, the members of the Bucciti Polling Group for getting us here today. Um, I think we're, we're, we're proud to be developers, but I think who we really are is we're, we're dreamers. And, and I often say that when we look at things, we often look to say, how do we make them better? And there's nowhere in the world that we want to make better than Newcastle County. Um, it's where we were born and raised, and, and, and we have an incredible, immense amount of pride for our community. And so Concord Plaza is the epitome that is a 25-year-old organization of what we've tried to do here in our hometown. And here at Concord Plaza, we, we acquired this, this, this 500,000 square foot office park over 15 years ago. And you know what, sometimes things don't work out the way you anticipated, and a big office tenant will leave. Well, instead of giving up, we, we decided to dig in and we spent a year really trying to reimagine and dream as to what this could be. What was the best version of itself that Concord Plaza could be? And, and what I love is we, we turned a, a challenge in a, real, in a real positive here. And we've, we've created the first mixed use community in, in Newcastle County, maybe in the state of Delaware. But we always like being out in front, we like being leaders, and we like trying to set the tone for our community. And I believe that this isn't just gonna be one and only, one and done. I think what we brought to the state of Delaware, which is something that you find in all the best markets, the best uh, communities in America, is mixed use development. It's what people want. Not everyone wants it, but there are a lot of people that want this. And they want a place where, where they can work and they can have a great job. And we, we have over 50 companies here at Concord Plaza. And they want a place where at lunch they can work, walk to the gym or walk and get an incredible meal like they can at El Camino um, or Taverna. Um, or they want a place where they can have a really nice home, uh, a reasonably priced but a beautiful new home with amenities like gyms and pools. And that's what we've created here. My gut tells me in the next two or three years, you're gonna see a bunch more of these. And you'll see these communities connecting them, connecting to each other. And before you know it, they become the foundations, the fabric of, of what we think should be the best county in America. So um, I also wanna thank not just all the members of BPG and of course, Mike Hare, who, who he's the special sauce of BPG. And we're like, Mike, this is what we wanna do. And Mike, go figure it out. Um, but, um, and, my, and my brother, who's um, just incredible taste and really really comes up with all this. And then the res, uh, Reside BPG team who will go on and manage it. Um, but we also have to thank our lenders. Uh, this will be a $200 million project when all is said and done. When you look at all of Concord Plaza, with once we're done the, the second and final uh, phase of the residential, and the existing office, it will be $200 million. There aren't many $200 million projects in the state of Delaware. And we've got it right here. We've invested this capital and, and the capital is ours and it's, and it's, the, um, it's the banks who made it ha happen. Um, so I'd like to thank um, Tara and CapSource uh, for, for making, uh, making this uh, dream a reality. So thank you all. Um, we're excited. I think the retail leasing should be pretty much done by the end of the year. So well, this will be a vibrant place with, a lot, with a lots of amenities. And, uh, and before you know, we'll be back here to uh, announce phase two of the residential and the additional mixed use. So thank you so much. Thanks, Chris. Uh, in addition to our lenders, I do want to acknowledge uh, our design team, uh, at least uh, the principals in our design team. I want to acknowledge Seth Shapiro, who kind of plan this. Bill Warwick, who is the uh, project exec on this for Barton Partners. Uh, as Colin Diascanis here uh, from CDA Engineering, who uh, helped us not only in the uh, civil design of the site, but also navigate uh, the public process, which is uh, a challenge for us because, as Rob says, we never like to go beyond Route 141. We spend all our time in the city. So a, a project in Newcastle County was, uh, was different for us, and uh, we're really grateful for our team. Although they're not here, uh, I don't see them anyway. Mike Hoffman and Larry Tarabicos from Tarabicos and Grasso also uh, key to us uh, steering the government process. And of course, I'd like to acknowledge uh, the team from BPGS, uh, Matt Corris uh, and Steve Weathers who led the, led the way for us on this project. And it was, it was tough, uh, the site work was tough. Uh, they're shaking their head when they talk about the designers. And Chris Rizaghi also who was here. So a uh, terrific job and uh, we'll see you up front in just a couple minutes. But uh, while uh, part of the Reside BPG team is 
handing out lease applications, I'd like to welcome the boss and uh, the vice president for uh, our residential operations, Reside BPG. Please welcome Christine Downs. Thanks, Mike. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. We are thrilled to be part of the new Conquer community, um, our first suburban project. Um, we know a lot about the city, uh, <laughs> but now it's time for us to learn a little about the suburbs. Uh, thank you to all of the residents who have decided to call the Concord their home. And we are so grateful to the community that has accepted us uh, with warm welcome. And we only have 50% more to go and uh, two months, so <laughs> pool season will be over. Thank you. Thanks, Christine. So now we're going to uh, cut the ribbon, uh, and uh, hopefully we're going to do this in about another 20 months uh, with at least two more buildings, a twin right next to the pool, another building up front with additional retail, and then uh, uh, soon to be announced another building just on the other side of uh, our building that contains uh, Taverna. So can I ask uh, all of our speakers to please step to the ribbon? Can I ask our construction team, our design team, so please come forward. Rob, can you come up, please? I know you're shy, Rob. But, uh, <laughs> our lenders, if they would come forward. Thank you all for being here. Please join us inside for some hospitality in our clubhouse. <coughs> and thank you for being here. We're all available for questions.